What is up YouTube? It is Matt back with another crypto video and today's video is on Tron and TRX. Today we're going to take a look at why it's a matter of time before Tron TRX achieves mass adoption and then we'll end this video with a look at some potential partnerships with Fortron uh, coming up after the tweet that Justin Sun tweeted. Finally, for the first time, uh, we have partnered with an industry giant worth tens of billions of dollars. Guess the name and this certainly sparked a lot of excitement in the Tron community as well as people throwing out some wild and speculative uh, potential partnerships uh, for the Tron Foundation. And we'll get into that a little bit later. As always, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, like it, share it, leave a comment, and let's get right to it. So why is it a matter of time before Tron TRX achieves mass adoption? And this article brings up a good point. Is a, One of Tron's main goals is to decentralize the internet, and acquiring BitTorrent will certainly help them achieve that. But BitTorrent has over 100 million global users. And in a way, all users on the BitTorrent platform now belong to the Tron community. And that's certainly one way to gain mass adoption is to acquire a uh, application or website that millions of people already use and then implement yourself into that website and you're essentially gaining 100 million users. And a lot of them, I guarantee, don't have any idea what Tron is at the moment, but certainly they will soon. Another way uh, that this article doesn't explain is through the partnership with Twitter that Tron has and your ability to tip people in Tron tokens on Twitter via Seedit. And if you do not own any Tron or you do not have a Tron account, yet someone tips you in TRX, a account is automatically created for you to store those TRX tokens that you have just received. And that's a way, and that's why we're seeing exponential increases in the number of uh, accounts being made on the Tron network is because accounts are being automatically created as soon as you receive a tip on Twitter. And I'm assuming the same can be said on BitTorrent. If you create content and you receive TRX as a payment for your upload and you don't have a Tron account, I guarantee a Tron account will automatically be made for you to uh, store those Tron tokens that you have earned. So this is a way to gain mass adoption for the number of TRX holders in the world through BitTorrent and Twitter. It'll certainly add millions of people and millions of new accounts to the Tron network. And as uh, more and more people uh, hold Tron and are now TRX holders, they're gonna need a way to spend that type of currency if they want to succeed in mass adoption. And that is where Poppy comes in. So Poppy is creating a debit card of sorts called the Tron card. And it, it's really gonna act exactly like a debit card works where you swipe it at the point of sale to complete your transaction. And I know companies have attempted this in the past. They meet some obstacle and ultimately uh, fail. But Poppy's different because Poppy has partnered with the company Clover and they specialize in making point of sale systems. Clover has uh, their own cash register. They have a mini countertop point of sale that you, know, you could be used in a gas station or something. And they also have a handheld device for swiping uh, credit and debit cards and soon to be the Tron card. Uh, companies that already use these devices inside their stores simply need to do a minor upgrade and they'll be able to accept Tron card and uh, TRX20 tokens as a legitimate form of payment. So that's why uh, Poppy is different from the others that have attempted to do a similar concept in the past. So a deeper look at the Tron card is the crypto community will also appreciate the addition of the Tron card. This is a credit card style payment solution that allows purchases and transactions at the point of sale terminal using TRX and other Tron tokens. The card will include additional security features such as a 3D barcode. And I've read that the card will also act as a wallet itself. So um, the card itself can hold all your Tron tokens, uh, any token that's on the Tron network for that matter. And then um, it's also available for peer-to-peer -peer transactions with that card. And they've also integrated with Seedit. And so Poppy will use the current momentum being experienced by Seedit to bridge the gap between the point of sale terminal and social media. Vendors can use Seedit to provide discounts, complimentary items, gift cards, and rewards on the blockchain that can be viewed and redeemed at the point of sale. So as the uh, number of accounts increase of TRX holders uh, via tw Twitter and BitTorrent, uh, they certainly will need a way to pay um, or spend their TRX that they have earned and Poppy will be that solution. Now this is not fully up and running at the moment and you cannot own a Tron card at the moment, at least not here in the United States. Uh, so if you're itching to spend your Tron tokens, you can still currently do so at the Bitcoin Superstore, which is a collection of over 200,000 
online retailers, including Walmart and Amazon, that all accept Tron TRX as a legitimate form of payment. Uh, now, I, for one, will not be spending my Tron TRX at the Bitcoin Superstore or at a Poppy uh, machine until the mass adoption, I guess, has already taken place and the price of Tron is uh, valued at where it really should be. Because I'm definitely going to hold on to it until then. And then uh, another point of, or another point to take note of is that they have re recently uh, created their Tron developer suite and the decentralized applications being built on the Tron network is certainly another way uh, for mass adoption of Tron to occur. Now that they have these tools for developers to easily and quickly create decentralized applications on top of the Tron network, we're going to see an influx uh, of decentralized applications being created on Tron's network specifically uh, because it's 200 times faster than Ethereum, as Justin Sun said the other day, and it's 100 times cheaper than EOS. So why would people not use the Tron network if it's faster and cheaper? And we're already seeing adoption in that field where the company BitGuild has created a game called um, Magic Academy on top of Tron's network. And then it's a, the first decentralized game to be created on Tron's network. And inside the game, there's a currency called Jade, and that Jade is a TRX-20 token. It's a uh, real currency. So you, when you earn this currency within the game, you could potentially in the future store it on your Tron card created by Poppy in the future and then spend it uh, at any store that has a Clover point of sale device. So that is how Tron will gain mass adoption through BitTorrent, Twitter, and uh, decentralized applications being built on top of its uh, network. And then they'll have ways to spend Tron to further enhance its uh, usability uh, through Poppy and the Bitcoin Superstore. So let's take a look at what this ar article said. Uh, the Tron founder made it clear that he believes soon that the world's wealth will only turn into cryptocurrencies. He thinks that there will be a mass adoption just like a black hole and inevitably suck the entire world's wealth in. And I agree with that 100%. But what would cause that, you know? What's going to cause people to stop using fiat currency and immediately turn to cryptocurrency? If we use Venezuela, Turkey, and other uh, failing countries as an example, what caused them to turn to cryptocurrency? Their fiat currency has hyperinflation and ultimately the economy has collapsed and people turn to cryptocurrency as an alternative. So when we look at the news out of USA Today, trouble lurks in the stock market with one third of S&P 500 trading in bear territory. Certainly the stocks have been performing well uh, recently, aside from this week, but you know, there's a lot of debt throughout the entire world. Uh, stock markets have been shaky in recent past. 2008, there was a collapse, and a lot of people are predicting a collapse much larger than 2008. I'm not saying it's going to be this year. It may not be next year, but you can guarantee that one day it is going to happen. And when it does, uh, that will be the spark, you could say, that drives mass adoption of cryptocurrency. Uh, not just Tron. I think Tron will be successful in the future without a doubt, but cryptocurrency in general it, it's probably going to take a similar situation to Venezuela for true mass adoption on a global level of cryptocurrency. So let's get on to the next topic of Tron and their rumored potential partnership. Uh, I saw that one of the rumors speculated was Alibaba, perhaps. Uh, but when you look at Justin Sun's tweet, he says the partner is worth tens of billions of US dollars. And when you look at the market capitalization of Alibaba, they're worth about $400 billion. So uh, just by what Justin said here being worth tens of billions and Alibaba being worth $400 billion, you kind of got to rule them out as a partner. This article uh, speculates that the Google equivalent in China, Beidou, I don't know if I said that right, Baidu, Beidou, something like that. And it's basically uh, China's version of Google certainly a massive company, but neither Tron nor Beidou has been able to confirm the partnership. And apparently, according to CoinS, they will officially reveal uh, sometime next week. So certainly time will tell. But again, there's no guarantee that it's this company either because uh, Baidu and other internet giants within China have also increased their stance against cryptocurrency falling in line with how the government views it. They kind of don't want to partake 
in cryptocurrency and the exchanges, and they've banned uh, websites such as WeChat, and Beidou has done the same thing in an effort to stay legal with the Chinese government. So I, I don't know if they would be the partner of Tron either. I did see one interesting tweet uh, on Justin Sun's tweet when he first tweeted about it, and the this person speculated that uh, they've already have Poppy, right? Poppy is creating or partnered with Clover and for point of sale transactions. And the company that owns Clover is called First Data. And First Data's market cap is $12 billion, which would put it right within the tens of billions uh, phrase that Justin Sun used. So it's certainly a possibility because it fits the bill uh, with the valuation of the company. But again, there's no concrete evidence that I have or that anybody has and I guess time will be the teller of who this partnership is hopefully it's someone uh, exciting and that will further the adoption of Tron in the Tron community uh, so that will wrap up today's video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button like it share it leave a comment and I'll see you guys later